Find volume of composed figures. This shape is a composite figure. It's made up of two rectangular prisms that are combined. But how can we find the volume of the figure? The first method is by breaking apart the solid figure into two rectangular prisms and then using addition to find the total volume. Let's cut this figure vertically to create two rectangular prisms. To find their volumes, we first need to find the length, the width, and the height of each prism. We already know the height and the length of prism 1, so now we need to find the width. Notice that the width is the same as the original figure, so we know that the width of prism 1 is 4 inches. Now let's take a look at prism 2. We know the height and we know the width, but we don't know the length. How do we find it? To find the length of prism 2, we subtract the length of prism 1 from the length of the original figure. 9 inches minus 3 inches gives us 6 inches. Now we can find the volume of each prism using the formula. To find the volume, we need to multiply length times width times height. Let's find the volume of prism 1. 3 times 4 times 5 equals 60 inches cubed. Now let's find the volume of prism 2. 6 times 4 times 2 equals 48 inches cubed. To find the volume of the composite figure, we add the volumes of the two rectangular prisms. 60 plus 48 equals 108 inches cubed. So the volume of the original figure is 108 inches cubed. Let's do the same example, but this time we're going to cut the figure horizontally instead of vertically. To find the volume of the composite figure, we need to add the volumes of both rectangular prisms. But first we need to find the length, width, and height of each prism. Notice that the width of figure 1 is the same as the width of the original figure. To find the height of prism 1, we subtract the height of prism 2 from the height of the original figure. 5 inches minus 2 inches gives us 3 inches. We already know the dimensions of prism 2, so we don't have to find them. Now let's find the volume of each prism using the formula. The volume of rectangular prisms is equal to length times width times height. Let's find the volume of prism 1. 3 times 4 times 3 equals 36 inches cubed. Now let's find the volume of prism 2. 9 times 4 times 2 equals 72 inches cubed. To find the volume of the composite figure, we add the volumes of the two rectangular prisms. 36 plus 72 equals 108 inches cubed. So the volume of the original figure is 108 inches cubed. As you can see, it doesn't matter which way you break apart the solid figure. Either way, you get the same result. We can also use subtraction to find the volume of a composite figure. Notice that the empty space forms another rectangular prism. In this example, we colored it red. To find the volume of a composite figure, we have to first find the greatest possible volume and then subtract the red prism. In this case, the greatest possible volume is given by 9 times 4 times 5 to get 180 inches cubed. Now we need to find the volume of the prism in the empty space. But to do that, we need to find the dimensions. First, let's find the length. To find the length, we have to subtract 3 inches from 9 inches to get 6 inches. The width is the same as the original figure, 4 inches. Now we need to find the height. To find the height of the red prism, we subtract 2 inches from 5 inches. 
to get 3 inches. Now we can find the volume of the red prism. 6 times 4 times 3 equals 72 inches cubed. To find the volume of the composite figure, we need to subtract the volume of the empty space from the greatest possible volume. One hundred eighty minus seventy two equals one hundred and eight inches cubed. So the volume of the composite figure is one hundred and eight cubic inches. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.